Now that we've gotten comfortable working with logarithms, solving logarithms, we're ready to take a look at an application of logarithms. And we're going to focus on what's called pH. pH is an important measurement that comes from chemistry to know how acidic or basic a, a solution is. In chemistry, pH is a measurement of hydrogen ion concentration. And we'll often represent that hydrogen ion concentration with an H plus with square brackets around it. The way that ion concentration is calculated is that pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. One thing we'll notice is that there is no base written on this log. Anytime there's no base written on the log, the secret invisible assumed base is always going to be a base 10, which conveniently matches the button on our TI-30 calculators that has a log with no base. It assumes the base is 10. Let's take a look at an example where we use pH. Here we're told in example 1 that soda has a hydrogen concentration of 3.16 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter. We need to find the pH of soda. Well, using our formula that pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, we'll plug in the fact that we know the concentration is 3.16 times 10 to the negative third. pH is the negative log of, we're told the concentration is 3.16 times 10 to the negative third. And we can just put that into our calculators. Again, the assumed base is 10. We don't have to write that. Our calculator doesn't even have the 10 on it either. We'll just type in our calculator negative log, 3.16 times 10 to the negative third. And when we do that, you should get that the pH is equal to approximately 2.5. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, we're told the pH, and we're going to find the concentration. We're going to use the same strategies we solved with solving log equations with one minor adjustment. Let's take a look at it. Again, the pH formula is negative log of the hydrogen concentration. And we are told that lemons have a pH of 2. This time we're given the pH. So this time we know 2 is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen concentration. What's different this time, though, is we need to solve for that hydrogen concentration. But before we convert to an exponent, we have to take care of the fact that there's a negative in the way. So what we can do to fix that is we can multiply both sides by negative 1. And when we do, we get negative 2 is equal to the log of the hydrogen concentration. Now we can solve this equation just like we did in our previous section by converting to an exponent where we know the base is that invisible 10. The exponent is the negative 2. And it's going to equal what's inside the log, that hydrogen concentration. And now we know that the hydrogen concentration of a lemon is 10 to the negative 2 moles per liter, or 0.01 moles per liter. 